And we welcome you to another edition of TMAX Teachable Moments, Retro Edition. In this week's segment, we take a look at future plate meeting guest Mike Riley, and we watch him handle a situation to near perfection. Fans, you can learn how to handle your situation to near perfection by going to the website umpcourse.com. One out of seven current MILB umpires are alumni of the Northwoods League, and you can get a job there by going to umpcourse.com. And when you sign up for your paid registration, tell them TMAC or Close Call Sports sent you, and you're going to get a free gift at the camp. So on this play, let's take a look at it. Bear in mind that the pitcher from the St. Louis Cardinals was hit in his prior at bat, and this is how things go when the pitcher from the Chicago Cubs comes up for his turn at bat. And that's not surprising. You knew it was coming at one point or another. Both benches have been warned. The Cardinals have had enough of getting spun around. Clement gets hit by a pitch. Heron was hit by a pitch. And now if anybody else gets hit, they're going to get run from the game, as will the pitcher's manager. Well, you don't really have to get hit. All you have to do, in the opinion of the umpire, is throw at anybody. And now Dusty Baker's going to come out. He's going to talk with Mike Riley. Said, so, geez, that one just got away. Why you? Why would you warn us after my pitcher got hit intentionally? And that's not surprising. You knew it was coming at one point or another. Morris a couple of times. But Heron got hit. In his first now one area where you're glad you have Mike Riley behind the plate he's the guy with the most tenure it's a good thing because cooler heads you figure are going to prevail where the umpires are put in an awfully difficult situation is they have to read the mind of either manager and either pitcher as you mentioned a bunt situation when you need a pop-up how do you know well there's another factor here Chip and that is when you throw at somebody, if you're a young pitcher, it creates a whole lot of adrenaline in your system. And if you are a young pitcher, sometimes your control that you really need goes away. Okay, so a lot of stuff going on here, um, but I want to focus on handling the situation. So now we're going to probably talk to Mike Riley about this play, um, and sometimes it's the fights that don't happen that nobody talks about, and that's a good thing. When the other pitcher comes up, so Heron hits Clement because Clement hit Heron. It's pretty much how it works, right? So you have to be aware of that. So you're going to have to do something when the pitch comes inside. Now you have two options. You can either reject or warn. And Mike Riley chooses to warn. He has a brief discussion with Tony La Russa, which seems amicable. It's the only major situation where you get both managers out of the dugout. When you warn teams... You get both managers of the dugout. And sometimes umpires are reluctant to warn because they don't want confrontation, and that's a bad decision because all that will do is manifest into further confrontation later. So I'd love to know, and maybe we'll find out what Dusty said, but you notice as soon as Dusty starts to talk to the dugout, to the St. Louis dugout, Mike Riley puts his arm around Dusty Baker and guides him to the dugout. And maybe he said something like, hey, you can vent from the dugout, yell from the dugout, but I can't have you doing it on the field. It's going to ignite a riot. Whatever happened, you get him to the dugout, you let him vent a little bit. And I know there are some people out there that will say, boy, you know, they were yelling back and forth. They both should have been ejected. Well, what happens if they're both ejected? They both come out on the field, and you're going to get the fight that you're trying to prevent. So sometimes um, things don't go quite how you expect them to. And I'm sure when... This day started, Mike Riley was going, oh, I'm going to have to issue warnings, and then I'm going to probably try to keep guys at, in the dugout and maybe let them get a little more say in the order of stopping a brawl. But that's kind of what happens here. And what's more interesting about this play is what happens the next pitch. Ground ball at the bag. Tino steps, no force. you got to apply the tag, and the Cardinals turn a nifty double play. So what we have there is the pitcher going into second base hard, and our second base umpire, Eric Cooper, getting a great look. He's joined to the wings, the first base umpire and the third base umpire you saw before, Tim Timmons, Billy Hahn, respectively, um, who were in front of the Chicago dugout trying to keep things calm. So in this situation, now you're expecting as a second base umpire, okay, this guy just got hit. 
There were words exchanged. He might do something crazy. It's called being in touch with the game. It's being engaged. It's understanding what can happen next at any time. Expecting the unexpected. Not looking for something that's going to happen one time out of 5,000, but here a situation where adrenaline's kicking. The pitcher might come in hot, and he does. He, he tries to take out the shortstop, and Renneria just kind of gets out of the way and nothing happens, and the pitcher goes back to the dugout. Renneria doesn't happen, but Cooper's in a great spot that if you do get a situation, he can break it up. You know, he can get in, 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 in between the two foes. So situational handling is so important when it comes to umpiring. And understanding those situations and the emotions of them are also important. Sometimes if we shoot first and ask questions later, we'll get in a lot of trouble. Most times we do that, we'll get in a lot of trouble. But here, Riley clearly is the calming influence on this situation. And this is a big rivalry between the Cubs and St. Louis. It's a five-game series. So these teams are, are sick and tired of one another. And one team feels aggrieved. You have to understand that. You have to understand their emotions, but still manage the game in the way it, that you see fit. And in, in this case, if you manage the game strongly, you're going to be in a great spot to prevent a brawl from erupting. A lot of times we talk about how to manage the brawl once it happens, but I think we haven't done enough talking about how to stop the brawl before it happens. And this is textbook and a great job by Mike Riley. All right, fans, we hope that you check out the Umpire Placement Course. The journey begins February 4th, 2020 in beautiful Sarasota, Florida, where you'll get instruction from MLB and MILB umpires. Where Whether you're looking for a career in minor league baseball or you just want to move up a level, the Ump Placement Course, they'll place over 30 students in summer college leagues, not to mention the Picos League and the American Association. Check them out on the World Wide Web. It's umpcourse.com. Tell them T-Mac or Close Call Sports sent you and you're going to get a free gift at the camp. Have any plays you want us to discuss here at CCS on the segment we like to call T-Max Teachable Moments? Well, tweet us at umpire ejections or email us at info at closecallsports.com. If you have a comment on the video, let us know in the comment section below. If you like the video, you share the video, or you tell a friend about us, we'll be eternally grateful, and thanks so much for your continued support here at CCS. Until next time, always do what's right, not what's easy. Happy umpire, everyone.